guys, how you all doing today? It's me, it's Murray Minter 75. Guys, I'm back for another video and I want to give my immediate thoughts to the news that Jack Ross is no longer the manager of Hibernian Football Club. So guys, as I said in the intro there, I just want to give my immediate thoughts to the news that Jack Ross has been sacked as the manager of Hibernian Football Club. Um, my first initial thoughts are not one of surprise. I think this has been in the pipeline for a number of weeks. Um, I'm honest enough to say, yes, I wasn't exactly the biggest admirer of Jack Ross. Again, I think that's very fair to say, um, you know, I was very critical of him uh, at a lot of moments uh, during his tenure at Hibs and I think some of my criticisms that I had of him were very fair. I think, you know, you know that is, to me, it's fair to say. I think the, the criticisms that were, were aimed at him were, were pretty clear and um, I think they were, were sound criticisms, to be honest. But as I've argued quite a wee bit today, you know, I don't like to see people losing jobs. You never want to see it. You, it doesn't matter if it's in the real world or if it's in football. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. You never want to see people losing their jobs. But it's became evident for quite a wee while that Jack Ross just wasn't the man for Hibs. Whether it be the, the style of football that he played, the, the record when it came to big matches, the overall performances in, um, in matches, you know, it just, for whatever reason, it just didn't seem to work for him. Um I agree with one or two points that I've heard today, the bit that he was let down massively um, by Graham Mathie and the recruitment team at Easter Road, especially over the summer transfer window. Um, and Graham Mathie obviously has picked up his cards because of that. Um, it's, as I say, I mean, I can't argue and say that he wasn't let down by these people. But at the same time, you know, you're a manager. You've got to work. With, you've got to. You've got to work with what you've got, and it was. It was pretty evident, especially last night, that he just had lost the backing of the players. Uh, the fans turned on him last night. Probably the the most clear indication that I've seen last night that fans were not happy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Listen, I know fans have been very vocal on social media and everything like that about, again, performances and whatnot. But last night was the first time that I've actually really heard fans singing for him to be uh, to be sacked or for him to resign. And it was just... Last night's performance just epitomised um, kind of the, the, the performances that we've been having recently. Um, Graham, uh, Graham, shut up, Stephen. David Martindale said in the build-up to the game last night, what he was going to do, how he was going to set his team up, and we didn't combat it. We just did not combat it. We lost another goal. Another soft, silly goal for a wide area. And after that, we just... We didn't look interested. It was the same against um, Motherwell there on Saturday. I mean, don't get me wrong, we were unlucky and a lot of chances that we had, but as soon as Motherwell equalised, we lost interest. Do you know what I mean? Let, let's not beat about the bush. This season, it just hasn't worked. Do you know what I mean? Be that, I mean, listen, I don't know what his, what his attitude was to the likes of uh, Scott Allen as well. But Scott Allen at the end of the day showed in the, the League Cup, uh, Cup quarterfinal against Dundee United what a player he is. Yes, people can say that he's a, bit, a wee bit of a maverick, but he's a maverick that gets people at their seats. And it's things like, I mean, you look at Saturday's game there, we went 1-0 down, eh, sorry, we went 1-0 up, they equalised, pretty soft goal, and we done nothing. We done nothing after that, and with five minutes to go, he brings on Scott Allen. What good's five minutes going to do? That was my question at the time. And last night, he brought, obviously, Doy John and Allen at the, the start of the second half, and you thought... Oh, you know, maybe we can maybe we can salvage something, but for again, for whatever reason, it just didn't work. Um, as I say, I know we've spoke about his records in big games. The record in big games just wasn't there. Four points, I think, however many games against the old fun, 
and Hearts, it wasn't good enough. We talk about semi-finals and everything like that. And finals, you need to win these games. You didn't do it. It's as simple as that. I, I, I'm a wee bit critical of Hibs for the timing of this news. Bear in mind that we've got a, a cup final uh, in 10 days' time. But at the same time, you know, I said last night I thought we were going to be embarrassed in the cup final. I, I don't. I don't think it's going to be that way anymore. I mean, obviously, players pick it up when they know a new manager's coming in. Uh, are they going to do the same on Tuesday night and then um, next week against uh, uh, St. Mirren? Uh, St. Mirren, shut up, Stephen. Uh, against Celtic? Well, no, no. I, I mean, listen, I find it really, really strange... That again, as I say, the timing of the sacking wasn't exactly ideal, but it is what it is. The overall impression that I'm getting right now is that obviously this was the chief exec's decision and not Ron Gordon. That's the impression that I'm getting. Um, but again, you know, you read in the statement today that a prolonged decline in results, and it's pretty hard to argue with that, unfortunately. Um, for me, I think it is the right call. You know, I think it is. I definitely think it is the right call. And listen, as I say, I don't like to see anybody lose a job. And I'll always give Hibs players and managers a fair crack of the whip. And I'll always get behind them. I'll always try to support them. But as I said last night, you can't defend the indefensible. It just doesn't work like that. And unfortunately, it's been like that for a long time. I do believe it is the right call that we've made. We need to wait and see who comes in now. Obviously, the, the speculation has been rife today about who uh, who takes over. I've heard Hibs fans wanting Neil Lennon back in charge. I've heard Hibs fans wanting Alan Stubbs back in charge. Uh, Alex Neal's name's been mentioned. I've heard one or two outsiders from um, across the pond have been mentioned as well over in America, which, if I'm being honest, I think is probably going to be the more likely outcome. Um... Personally speaking, I mean, if it were up to me, I would love to see Alex Neal getting the job. I really think that um, he is a, a brilliant, brilliant candidate for a, a job and he's not got any real ties to Hibs as well. I mean, we're, we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, I really like, you listen to the way sometimes he talks in interviews and things like that. He's, he's quite a clever guy. He's always very clear in what he wants as well. And to be fair to him, the, the football and the style he plays... I think would suit Hibs to be honest. Um, you know, he does like to get the ball down and play football, but at the same time, he's defensively solid. And I know, obviously, people can go on about his record and things at other clubs. Let's not mess about. He took Norwich City for the, the, the lower ebbs of the, the championship and got them promoted into the Premier League. And unfortunately, you know, fair enough, Norwich at the end of the day, then they stay in the league. And he, I think he got sacked then after, but at the same time, you know, he's still, you know, you're in the Premier League, you're in a Premier, you're in the Premier League with a team like Norwich, you're going to struggle. Let's not beat about the bush. I know a lot of Norwich fans speak quite highly of him, which is always nice to hear. Um, that would be my choice. I mean, I'm going to leave it open to the floor to see who you guys would want to be brought in as well, um, and just we'll see what happens for thereafter. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the everything today with Hibs to one side just now, and I just want to talk to you all about kind of why I've not been uploading recently. Um, I'm going to be blunt here. Um, I found it really difficult uploading recently. Obviously, I do have a young a young child now to look after, and I find it really really hard to not not so much even come through and um, you know do videos and things like that. I just I've lost a wee bit of I've lost a wee bit of energy when it comes to um when it comes to YouTube and my sub count's taken a wee bit of, a wee bit of a hit because of this, but that's completely understandable. I'm not gonna lie and say that things I, I I've struggled a little bit recently with my mental health as well. Um for, you know, whatever reason. Um there's been times where I've you know, I have come I've come through to try and do a wee video and things like that and then when it comes down to it I just I lose interest. Because I, I'm knowing uh, that there was times where I wasn't in the best place, um, 
but now I mean things are a wee bit better. I uh, found a wee bit found a wee bit more time now as well. Uh, obviously, I couldn't not make a video today over um, over the news, which I think obviously has helped me to kind of get a wee bit of focus back. Um, but yeah. I mean, as I say, I'm going to try try my damnedest to try and be getting videos back up because, you know, you know when, I, when I'm on song, I do enjoy YouTube. I do enjoy talking about Hibs because at the end of the day, you know, we, we all love doing it. Do you know what I mean? If you're a hubby, you love talking about your football team. Anybody loves talking about their football team it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see um, how things go from now on. But that's kind of the reasons why I've not been uploading recently. And that's my immediate thoughts on um, the situation at Hibs just now with Jack Ross. So I'm going to leave the video there just now. If you've enjoyed my ramblings, which I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me if uh, if you have or not, uh, please you know give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out when you do that. Stick a comment in the comment section below. If you're new around here, please, please, please give uh, the video uh, a like and, and please subscribe to Channel Money Minute 75. But that being said, guys, uh, see you later. And... Uh, See you the next time at Easter Road for uh, Sir David Gray's first, first game in charge. See you after.